first. It is May. But hey, dude, I don't want, I'm not yeah. arguing yeah. with you on this. Whatever you want to do, I'm going to be here. I mean, do you I'm not, think we should go fast? And what am I I'm saying? I'm not in a crazy? rush. What, I mean, I've seen... Uh, if well, he's the strategist, he's thinking, how do we move these chips and pieces around? Well, well I, pay, I pay cash for the jet. This, yeah. These guys want me to finance it with them. They want to give me money. Yeah. So they send me a little f***ing model to try to get my money, right? Yeah. They, they want to throw money at me. So I'm not... Like, we, we can just take the position with your audience. I think more of them know me than you might think. Okay. Yeah. And if they don't know me, they're going to Google me. And they're going to be like, this guy's legit. And it's going to be good for both of us. It's going to literally raise the value, the brand value of both of us in the marketplace. You can just start rolling, rolling yeah. this in over here. He wants me to, dude, he wants to do a beta test. And I said, Not a beta test. Uh, what, I want to get what kind of test you want to call it? Baby want test. Results. Not a baby, baby test. Results. And I said to him, results. I said, bro, I have already, okay, affected sales in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Toyota, Chrysler, Nissan, Ashley Sprint. Furniture, Sprint. What do we do for Sprint? Uh, All right, Grant. Sprint gave us a are... bullshit beta test. They said, what can you do for us? I said, give me the entire state of Florida. We were the only in 35 days. We were there. Six, out of 16 major markets that they have in the country. Yeah, the this only one. The only one, one that was beta. up, yeah. and it, they were up double digits. All right. By the way, we're the ones that said, "Hey, sell the T-Mobile." <laughs> okay. Grant, you're gonna do the May challenge for me in yeah, May. May. Let me tell you what the May challenge is. Okay? Grant's gonna double, triple okay. our sales floor revenue. That's right. And if I don't do it, by the way, any program you get from me, I'll pay you back for it. Okay. And he's gonna give me the jet. He can't promise. He paid you this cash shit works. for the G550. He can't promise you the shit works, but I can. I'll promise you that it works. And if it doesn't, I'll give you 100 percent money back guarantee refund. As long as you want it. I don't care when you want it. I'm going to put a link up this month. Okay. And it's going to be part of the Ty Grant Challenge. He's challenged me that he can double my sales, phone sales. And if it works, I'm going to put a link up on my website. And I'm going to show you what he taught me. Look, look, but here's Grant, the bottom line. Bottom I want to see it. Your business is only as good as your ability to sell products and answer the phone and make phone calls and get in front of people and talk to people. It's proximity to money. You have to get closer to the money to get the money. So is Grant going to be able to do it? Yes or no? What's your vote? I like that, man. You got to create a little drama. Yeah. I love the drama. The drama. So, the okay. Drama. I love the conflict, too. Get a little conflict exactly. going. Who's, who's right? Who's wrong? Okay? Hey, if y'all think Ty Ty's right, <laughs> give him a T. If you think hey. GC's right, GC. I Can I do it? Can I do it? Alex, what do you think? Alex is the pessimist. Dude, I'm not a pessimist. Dude, I think he's cool. Dude, if, if, right. I do push -ups, if I do push-ups, do I build arms and pecs? Okay? Do I? If I do them every day, do I get a, do, does something happen? Something happens. So if I it's start working, workout. if I start working with your deadbeat sales team, <laughs> <laughs> entire Alex. lazy ass salespeople <laughs> that make excuses more than they make phone calls, if I, I spend time pushing on them, dude, we're gonna make an extra sale. Do I double or triple? I don't know. Maybe I cut it in half. Maybe it only get you fifty percent of that. No, I, I want it. double. You're gonna cut our sales in half, Grant? No, no, not, no, no. Cut, cut his, cut his gonna, expectation in half. No, okay. I want a double. This is the double challenge. Dude, we're 10x over here, bro. But this is in a month. But this I'm is a, in a month. I'm going to blow you. I don't give a f. Okay, you get a 10x? I'll, I'll do it this weekend. All right. Where, where are these 10x? Guys? All right, right, I like now, it. right now, they're walking around the sales room. They ought to be making phone calls. I agree. Okay. Then let's do it. Okay. All right, this is what I said. Big question. The month of May, will Grant Cardone mentor me on phone sales double my phone sales? No how, way how will he 10x. My daily I mean, phone every sales. Day we have about a thousand paying customers, yeah. new paying customers. Can you? Can somebody give me a phone number to call right now? Yeah. Good. I'll show you how to make a phone call. Okay. Right. Give me a goddamn phone just, number. We're talking go. all this theory <laughs> bullshit. Let's all just right, do we something. got it. This is safe. If he if he does, I'll show you what he taught me. Created to our entrepreneur academy. Yeah, Pick good. One of those. So, so MentorBox is fourteen. So they bought one ninety nine, hundred ninety nine dollar product. product. Okay, yeah, good. And then, and then you've called them before. And uh, no, do any good we can them we can give you both. Do you want to uh, get a brand new? Before he called and, and, and nothing happened. Okay, <laughs> Justin, can you okay. look? At yeah, I'm putting some leads over there. Grant, what's your email where I can share a page with you? Uh, Grant at GrantCardone.com. Yeah. Okay. See, so one thing that we would do is we would start having tos on every deal. Okay. Every unclosed deal. Okay. So. Um, Hey, you just talked to Ty, you got off the phone with him, you didn't get the program, I want to know why. There's not, there's not even any talent here. It's, it's caveman. Like, yeah, I just shared a sheet with you. I just want to know why, why you didn't do it. 
Mr. Lopez personally wanted me to call you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that in fact. Is this gonna be people who know me or mentor box? Mentor box. Oh sorry. Okay, right. so Mr. 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 Alex. Here's, they here's know 34 Alex. units I just found. See, I get these deals every day. Here's 34 units in point long. Grant shows picture. Picture what? There you go. Huh? Did you get a good one? I got one. Oh beautiful. I always look good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think you're underestimating, dude. I'm not. Ha no, no, no. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was going to work. Yeah. I put yes or no. <laughs> hey, what's Grant's I, I, I don't need to know about the products. <laughs> okay, thanks. See, perfect example. Like, this is great, man. Like, I don't need to, The last thing I need to know in this phone call is about the product. I need to make the phone call. I don't need to know about, about the client. I don't need to know what his age is. I don't need to know anything. That's what guys go through. The, the, the experts, they, I've got to know all this. No, you don't. You need to make a phone call. First. Yeah. See you, Dad. Quarez. Okay, good. Good. Let me talk to this person. Call, call this one right here. Call Caitlin. And then your people need this role model right now that I don't need to know anything. Yeah. Right? Because I'm not going to get it great if I don't do it. Yep. So the frequency precedes the greatness. This is yeah. Caitlin. People want to be great without ever doing anything. She paid, what's that, 6900 She paid 6900 for this. Huh? Is it $69? I'm from Mentorbox, I'm from Mentorbox, is that what I'm Just 70 bucks. Little does she know. The answer is this card. Grand Cardone. <laughs> Grand Cabron, <laughs> the big bastard. <laughs> We got Pablo Escobar's cousin here. Yeah, he looks just like. He's, he's, Come on, Caitlin, pick up the Hi, phone. Hi, it's Caitlin. I can't answer the phone right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Hey, Caitlin, this is Grant with Mentorbox, and I want to call you about your recent purchase. I have a question. If you don't mind calling me back, my number is 310 777 0255. 310-777-0255. I got a question and we got a note just from Caitlin. Thanks. Damn. Who are we calling next? This is... So right uh, here, dude, right here. Here's your India. course right here, okay? Yeah, no, that's, Here's your that, course. That's not going to work. That's in India. To all these young entrepreneurs, <laughs> right? Call hey, Michael, Michael Wong I was with. Vegas. I was in Grant's office. I told him we had this thing going on with MentorBox. Boom, you're talking about MentorBox. Yes. He says, give me a sheet and start making phone calls. Now, if we, make, if we actually make some money here. <laughs> we'll split the commissions with you, Grant. You can get 10%. Man, that's awesome. You got this so generous. <laughs> so generous. A million in sales for the month of May. That'll be a 10x. A little less than a 10x, but we'll count it as a 10x. What did this person spend? Ninety nine dollars? Nine thousand nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine dollars. Who is this? Michael Wong. Michael Wong. Yeah. Michael Wong. Mike Wong. Michael Wong. Michael Wong. Michael Wong. <laughs> okay. Michael. Where's Nate? Oh, there's. What phone numbers do you guys collect? What do you mean? What phone numbers? Well, they're not. Aloha. Thank you for calling. Leave <laughs> a message. Make sure you call as soon as possible. Please tell me that's his real voice. Have a great day. <laughs> Aloha. Hey, Mr. Wong. My name is Grant Cardone, calling from Mentorbox. I need to talk to you today. Stop what you're doing and call me back. 310-777-0255. Can't wait to talk to you. I got a big surprise for you. Here, someone already wrote back. I raised 22K for my university in eight months by cold calling. First jobs and sales. Your videos improved my talking game a thousand, hundred percent. I think he's talking about me or you. I'm not sure. Do you want to give the phone number that we have called before? Colin Garner, 642. Just add no, that's New Zealand. New Zealand. No, 5207-6614. Adam Delos. Yeah, dude, that, that, that's the only thing I know. Like, he... Thank you for calling Adam D. Technology. At any time, you may dial an extension <laughs> or press yes. zero for the operator. We have greatly improved many of our products. Do you like auto dollars for this? Just to cut for all the on our new and improved yeah. secure cloud backup system, please press two. What, what auto dollar do you recommend? Do you know that you can submit matter? a ticket for service at any what time? Say it on to do so, okay. please visit See, you're not clicking so adamdtechnology.com forward slash help and select support request.
To best serve you, please pick from the following options. For technical and website support, please press 1. For sales and product inquiries... Let me sell something else to these. Let's see what the salespeople do. Watch the salespeople. Here's one that wanted to cancel. Okay, Adam's... I got 25 names right here, guys. Jeff, how may I help you? Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Hey. Jeff, is this the sales department? Yeah, Megan is actually out right now, so that's why I'm answering her phone. Oh. I, I, I need to talk to somebody that's about sales. Um, uh, I want to buy your product. Okay, let me uh, put you through to Megan's number or her, her voicemail, and she'll, she'll be back in about 15 minutes. she give you a call right what, back. Isn't there somebody else there that can talk to me? And Adam would be the only ones, and they're both out. Where's your entire team's out? Just those two are out. Yeah. Let me ask you, what what what, what is it going to cost? What is your what is your service there cost? Just about how much? Sir. Huh? For what what type of service? Well, the full service. Um, just a second. Let me see if the the uh, tech department will be able to help you out. Okay. Thanks. See, this is what happens every day in companies. Like, start up, two people, they're out to lunch. Yeah. Really out to lunch. <laughs> he's answering the phone, shouldn't be. Now yeah. he's flipping me a tape. Dude, just give me some information. It's costing people money. Yeah. I'm getting a bad taste in my mouth about the company. I don't even know what they do. Now I go back on a hold button. Yeah. I've been on hold longer than I've talked to humans. And when I talk to a human, he won't help me. So you, you're saying every company needs to answer the phones, have enough people, that you don't lose these opportunities. Let me call my office. All right. Watch how many times the phone rings. Hey, great. It's Grant Cardinal's office. What can I get you information on? That's right, mother <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, phone didn't finish ringing the first time. You see the difference? Like, this is what, Ty, you and I could help so many of these young entrepreneurs that are doing startups, that are in network market, yep. that are trying to get a side hustle. Yep. And I'm like, man, you have to know these basic skills. Because yep. there's plenty of money out there, and there's plenty of knowledge. How do you yep. say it? Knowledge? Knowledge. <laughs> there's plenty of freaking knowledge there's out there, but there's not time. enough action. What? Knowledge. Knowledge. And there's not enough action. Sales there's knowledge. Not, not enough sales knowledge, right? Yeah. So, and not enough persistency, because look, I haven't done anything yet. Let me call another person. I can do this all day long. You know why? Because I know what the fuck I'm doing. Most people quit right now because they don't know what they're doing because they haven't been trained. I am the LeBron James of sales, baby. <laughs> and if you're not going to be that guy or gal, you're not going to have a business. 64% of businesses break even or lose money. Yeah. you got plenty of intelligence floating around the universe. Not enough of this. Yep. This costs nothing. Everybody wants to go raise the money rather than make the money. I want to see the 10x. Dude, let's do this, dude. Your people need this. Every time I've talked to Jared about you, I said his audience, me and him, could do something so good together. This has to turn into this. I know I got a better chance of getting it to do that than you did. Right now, because Alex, you taking that challenge? Alex is running the set. Alex is competitive. Tone, What's your name your again? Message. I forgot her name. Who am I talking to? It's a woman, options. right? Andrea? Yeah. Hey there, hey there. This is Mentorbox. Can you give me a call back, please? This is Grant Cardone. I can't wait to talk to you. I was given your phone number today and said you'd just done business with us, and I have a super, super big, what is it, uh, favor to ask of you. Give me a call back. Thanks. So the purpose of that, I left three different messages. I don't really know what I'm going to say to people. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's, not, it's not like I'm going to have some magic sauce here and, you know. See, are you guys doing this now? Yes. But I mean, not at this frequency. How many calls a day do they do we make? Just uh, now? Probably 50. Per person? Per, per, per person? Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be 400. Our contact, our, well, our contact rate is very high because we're calling a lot of buyers. So for us to be able to make 100 dials a day, it's tough because it's constantly talking to people. Yeah. Their phone time is high, but it's because their connect rate is higher. Okay. If it was a cold call lead, what's that? What's the close rate on those calls? 
I'd say probably 10% set and probably right now with everyone being new, probably 50 to 70% close. So our, our probably close rate is 5%. Right now, down the shop, that number is 270. Blue and green. We're averaging 100 to 200. Like yeah. Away. And what do you do for, what, what, what kind of training do the guys get? Uh, we train every morning, come in about 8 o'clock, 8.15, yeah. train for 30 to 45 minutes, and then we also monitor their calls. So like if someone's on a call and they're new, it's listening to them, telling them what to say, and following through with that. Hey Josh, Josh, this is Grant. Can you give me a phone a call back? I'm, I'm with MentorBox. That's MentorBox. My name's Grant. Call me back, 310-777-0255. I got something special to share with you. You can start getting these calls back. <laughs> you can keep the, the camera on 24 so what's the, what's the what's the product like funnel with this? Like somebody buys the initial program and that's how much? Uh, seven bucks. I mean, seven bucks, but then it has upsells. And then it goes to upsells. We have an $89 upsell, 199 a year, 139 a month. Our, six. Our so, problem right now is we have opportunity here and resources here. Yeah, we need so to we've got to talk. We've got yeah. We need to hire and scale salespeople as fast as we where can. Where are you from in Utah? What part? Where I'm from Kansas, Kansas City. I mean, where's the, the team we're talking about? Yeah, the city. About? Oh, Draper. 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 Yeah. Draper. Draper. Yeah. Yeah. So like we wouldn't, you know, we don't spend any time training salespeople here. Yeah. They all go through your course. That's all they do. Yeah. Like. If I walked in and had somebody watching my videos in there, it's grounds for dismissal. During the work day. Yeah. Yeah. That is what he's mean. Like everything we do for training with the sales guys, the role play, Cardone University, that all happens before like our work day starts. Yeah. I'll take a phone call for him. Yeah. I'll do a video for him, send a video back to a client. Because it could be some 80000 or it could be a $2 million contract. You selfies and send totally. It to That's one thing. But, but there's no way that I'm going to sit there and teach some guy the basics of something. Yeah. Right. When it exists. So that's what I would get the entire staff on and say, but you, your job now is to say, hey, this is what we live and breathe and die by. Yeah. Don't say it won't work here. Don't add, it doesn't fit our industry. I don't want to hear any of that, dude. Like, like nobody ever says that around here. That's what they watch. We can track who's on it, what they're using, how much they're on it, when they watched it, what time of night. You having trouble sleeping at night? Watch our shift. Yeah. It's all laid out there. Every phone call they can make, every sales call, every follow-up call, every situation, every objection that has ever been said by anybody in any sales situation is covered. So let's get access to that and have people start going yeah, through it on their own. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, in terms of hiring people, do you think it should be as simple as put something on my Snapchat? We're hiring salespeople. Who's yeah. ready to go make yeah. money? Totally. I would definitely. Do I, I would say that it, it, it really, you need to define like who is going to be successful in that role. So for us, what we do is we have over the last five years, we know when somebody has a certain type of background, when they've made a certain amount of money before, like if somebody's made 150 grand before, then, then we know that they have a shot here. Yeah. When somebody's never made more than 50 grand before, it's going to be hard for them to understand that they have the opportunity to make 400 here. Yeah. Like it's a half and broke, yeah. we got yeah. a problem. So, are you getting most people who have done sales then? When we're looking at resumes, we're looking for people that have phone sales experience. Yeah. If they've worked in inside sales in, in, in an inside sales environment, even better. Uh, but mostly, mostly it's the personality assessment, it's sales experience. Do they know how to make a call on the phone? Have they made cold calls? What personality assessment do you guys do? Disc. Disc. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do disc, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, should, we should push everyone to a VSL page yeah. where you're pitching the idea of working the sales business and then have them go through like an application process. Well, or like calls. you're saying, we got to say, if you've done sales, if you've done 150000 in sales, or you could even contact do this. me. Hey, man. Uh, you know, you're, all your training is going to come from Grant Cardone. You've heard of Grant. That's who we partner with. Yeah. That's where your training comes from. We're going to support you because a lot of companies are using my platform now to attract talent. So yeah. like this, you will get training. So they'll show this yeah. as they're, we're not right. going to just let you down the vine out there like most sales companies do. Yeah. They actually run ads. Yeah. Yeah. To, to recruit people you'll, saying you'll, they're partnering. In addition to a job here, you'll get certified with Grant Cardone sales training. Yeah. Yeah, we can, on social media, I can 
job applications go insane. What's the most we've got? 8,000 in one hour, something people 6, apply. 6,500. 6,500 okay. apply. I said, you want to work for me? It was like yeah. six, seven thousand. That's what I said. Yeah. The, 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 the hardest part you guys will have is, is working insane. through all those. Right. Not we have a way. We yeah. Have, I got quizzes that knock people off so we don't have to look through 6,500. We yeah. look through 65, you know. But I especially just say qualify. Have you done her 50,000 phone sales? Yes or no on the drop down. They could lie, but most people, if it says no, it'd be like, sorry, we're not hiring. But, but again, summer. like Steve Sprite, yeah. never did 150,000 phone sales. Had he done but we wouldn't sales? have hired him today. Today, yeah. yeah. You, you know, so. Now so, they're more ruthless. So, and he was broke. So yeah. the guy came over here, he's been with us six or Had seven years now. Had to sell his car, which living in a used spray furniture store. The, the first, first kid I talked to, good looking kid. Sold his car, rode so, the bus so, to you know, every day. Hey, dude. You know, most of these tests would say don't hire Grant. Yeah. I've, I've had I've gone to companies that I work for. They were paying me a bunch of money to consult for them, and then they're like, "I said, let me do your test." No, no, you're, there's no way. Yeah. Yeah, because you miss the it factor. Some people have it. Whatever. I mean, whatever. It's maybe hard you to test. Me on for a bad that. day or something. I don't, yeah. know. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a. That's why we, we, we rely on multiple points. Yeah. So once somebody gets through that, we see their video, we see their resume, we see their. Do you make them do a video? Yeah, a sixty second video, a resume, and then the personality assessment. So we have three things to look at yeah. before we even talk to them. Yeah. yeah. The video yeah. knocks out. More than half the people. Because people won't submit it, or the video looks horrible. They won't. They, they won't. They, they're for, just. They they're, can't they're do, do it. They're afraid you, to do it. What we do is we say send a thirty second video. So if it's over thirty seconds, we don't want to look at it. We already know the guy can't take an order. Yeah. Uh, if it comes three or four days late, he wasn't really interested. Yeah. So if it comes overproduced, I know that he's he's into overproduction and not what I just did, which right. is just pick up the phone. Dude. Then the other thing is when he gets there, say hey, here's the list, dude. Make a phone call. Yeah. That's the best test. Sure. I don't care if he's a psychotic. I care if he can make a phone call. I care if they're psychotic. But yeah. I agree with you. But you, you understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so, so because the reality is, for me to go from 40 guys back there to 80, I'm going to make some mistakes in hiring. How long is going to take? Do you think? Well, I wouldn't do everything that Jared just went through. I'd say, hey, fucking put them back there, yeah. and they cost us some payroll, and we make some mistakes. So what? Let's roll, dude. I can't get good people. Like you guys, everybody in the room would have not hired me at 25, 24, 23. I was yeah. just, I was, I was, I was getting ready to have a breakthrough. Yeah. But you, you wouldn't have because of the condition I was in. Yeah. You, you said I'm a psychotic. Were you psychotic? I'm not, not psychotic by definition, but I was fucking, I was messed up. So I didn't look good. Weighed 140 pounds, had a drug problem, you know. I'm broke, my credit's bad. I mean, just my car would have said, hey, leave the dude alone. <laughs> Is that too many bumper stickers? That's no. how you should tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know to too leave somebody bumps, else. Too many bumps, too many scratches. Yeah. I kept hitting shit. So, you know, so you'd have passed, but I was waiting for that. I was getting ready to be good at something. Yeah. Just figuring it out. A lot of lost talent. A lot of people yeah. passed over. Yeah. That shouldn't be. Yeah, but would you say that your turnaround was because of the job that you had or because of a change that was made? No, no, I would say it's because I was finally given something. That's why I'm right. so, yeah, that's why it's so important for me to give people, no, because I had something to study. Yeah. I didn't want to read. I wasn't a big reader, so, but I had a guy's video program. Somebody gave me a video program. I, was I, it DVDs? It was all DVD. It was Betamax, actually. It was even four DVDs. Was it sales training? Yep. Yeah. Who was teaching? It was a guy named Jackie Cooper, old South Carolina guy. Jackie Cooper? Yeah. He did Not automotive sales. I was in the automotive baseball business. Jackie Robinson? Oh, Jackie Robinson? Yeah. yeah, Jackie Cooper was a comedian, I think, too. Yeah, there was a Jackie Cooper that yeah. was a comedian. But anyway, this guy, he gave me something to study. He gave me a track to run on. So I'm like, okay, I got Were you, you doing know, car sales? Yeah. So you were on the lot selling cars? Yeah. Yeah. Sold, lot, yeah. sold a lot of cars. How much did the video help? The I DVDs, went, the I went from making twenty five hundred bucks a, a, a month to twenty five hundred bucks a week. Yeah. This is thirty years ago. Okay, yeah. it was like it was like night and day. I went from being the bottom five percent to the top one percent in the entire country. What was the main point of the DVD that, that you remember? Exactly. Uh, I remember the whole thing, dude. I watched it thousands of times. I could recite the whole twelve Betamaxes probably. Right. It was. It was. I studied it so many times, but nobody had taught me anything. I hated sales. Yeah. I didn't know what to say, didn't know how to introduce myself. My dad died when I was 10, so nobody taught me, like, how do I talk to people? 
How do I call a guy back? How do I selectively listen? How do I handle an objection, right? How do I handle somebody in a negotiations? So it's basically systematizing the whole product. Yeah. I mean, the whole process. For... Yeah. This is car sales 25 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So imagine what that was like. Yeah. You know, there's no data, Google searches, true car. Yeah. There's zero trust, which is the problem with 30 years ago. No trust in the, in the space. And it's gone up about this much. <laughs> it didn't move much. It's gone up. Now it Carfax has has increased yeah, but, it by that much. Yeah, but you know, it, it has changed a great deal from where it was. Yeah. So and then I left that and I basically changed that industry. That's where I went from. I went from car sales to calling on car dealers. Yep. So that's where I really learned to sell. When I was thirty, I started calling on the Nissan dealer and the Toyota dealer in Utah. I go to Utah, just call them car dealers for two weeks, and sell them to an event. Cold so call. I went yeah. from working for them to yeah, selling awesome. to them. Yeah. Then learning from you. Yeah. So this is all part of the challenge. We're gonna see a million this month. Okay, ready? A million this month. Well, 30 days from today. This is. And May, then, dude, whatever. if you guys can validate it, then you know, at the end of the month, we come up there, we finish shooting this thing, yeah. and, and say, hey, this is what happened for you us. You guys watching this video, this is like a preview. We actually don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> this is, I, I'll show Let you. Me just say this. He doesn't know what's going to happen. I know exactly he what's going to happen. And I'm just, just to confirm, here's the actual date. It's May 2nd. It's not made up 2018. So we're going to check back on June 2nd, 2018. If Alex has a new Lamborghini, then we know that, no, <laughs> we're not going to spend way, it on Hey, that. where's Ryan at? Ryan Seco. By the way, if you guys are in the apartment business, you need this information to know how to lease somebody an apartment. Okay? Yeah. If you're selling a house, you need this information to know how to sell a house. If you're buying a house and you want to get a mortgage, you need to know how to sell the bank on why you're a worthy person to get a mortgage. If you, you want a job, you want a, you want a pay raise, you got to go negotiate and sell somebody on first getting a time from them. Then making him comfortable and then agreeing to say, yeah, man, I'll give you another four bucks an hour. Basically everything's money is made through persuasion and there's ethical persuasion and dishonest. But if you ethically persuade people, that's what the world needs more of. Even your school teachers, like school teachers aren't persuading kids. They need to learn right. anything. And so their society goes at the end of the day, like Jay-Z, the rapper, he had a, his 12 year when he was 12 years old, one of his teachers persuaded him that he was good at poetry. And so he now worth basically a billion dollars as a rapper. So you have to, in the world, you have to have force of will, which is you have to be able to know what you're selling is good or your business is good. And you have to take your will and not force it in a negative way, but show people like you're missing this. Dude, there's, there's guys making four and five hundred thousand dollars a year, part-time cold calling, yeah. selling security systems today. Yep. They're 20 years old. How do you approach a door? How do you get rejected and go to another door? Yeah. How do you come back around at three o'clock in the afternoon and call on that first door again that said no to you this morning after you sold two other people? These, these potentials and possibilities are in the marketplace for people that know how to speak, know how to communicate, that aren't gonna blame their introverted self. Yeah. So you think introverts do fine? I think, I, think, I think the whole introvert thing is complete bullshit. So an introvert you think can be, because I mean, I think there's top, Introverted. So introversion is misunderstood. It's not shyness. You can actually be an introvert and be a good salesperson. Totally. The better yeah. salesperson is the introvert. Yeah. Because he listens. Be more, yeah. He takes interest. They're more systematic usually. But the introvert must extrovert in order to get attention. Yeah. Because if you don't get attention, you can't pay attention. And the extrovert has to become more introverted totally. to not be ADD. Extroverts tend to be more all over the place. Ah, what's new? That's actually the real definition of extrovert, introvert how you get dopamine, what stimulates you. Extroverts are always something new. Introverts are okay with routine. So introverts I think, make I think the most you, money. If you met me on a plane, you would say he's an introvert. Yeah. Well, you might be an ambivert. You might be both. Oh my God. That's the best. <laughs> You're bi. See, there's no test. I, I am You're bi. bi. <laughs> I am bi. <laughs> I love three ways. Yeah. So, so, and by the way, everybody out there, you better be able to be all these three, three things. You better be able to be an introvert, an extrovert, and a bivert. <laughs> Ambivert. Ambivert. Ambivert, whatever big words. Oh, exactly. okay. All your big words. Okay? Okay. Back to answering that question. No.
No, he loves. He don't, loves. <laughs> don't turn the cameras on me. I didn't sign up for this revelation. <laughs> Zach, you have something to say? That's We're doing a conference. Yeah, that's why. Exactly. Scared of the planes. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm excited. Like buying real estate, buying these big apartment deals. Here? Same deal. Persuading people. Yeah, like like they got they got more buyers than they got deals. Yeah. So how do I get to the top of a list of deals? On this big deal. So what do you think it is? Is it becoming friends? How do I get friends? to the top of the list when, when everybody around me has more money than I have? So give a preview because we're going to record. Yeah. If this works, we're going to record I'm gonna show you a deal. hardcore system Let me show that we're going to release. But I want to know else. what's the preview. Now, nobody knows about this right now. So I'm okay. going to give them a little look at this deal. Okay. Is this? No, that's, that's, that's a deal I can't show you yet. Mm. That was Houston. Wasn't that beautiful? Delete that from the video. No. No, no. That's all right. I'm not worried about Never it. Never show that again. Uh, where, where's that one deal I was showing you earlier? Um, this deal right now is getting ready to go to market. All right. Okay. The buyers for this deal are going to be Berkshire, Amley, it's a big, big, big apartment owner. Okay. Um, could be Blackstone. Everybody's heard of Blackstone. Could be, could be Morgan Stanley. Could be the buyer for this deal. And and then Grant Cardone's going to be hanging out on the fringes. That's the deal right there. Freaking monster. 431 units, $160 million. Dade land, brand new product, $2,500 a month rents. Goes to about $4,500. It's got a concierge. I'd get rid of the concierge. No, no concierge. Done, done. For $2,500, there's no way I'm getting a concierge for $2,500. Maybe the concierge goes to the guy that's got the townhome in there for $4,500. Yeah. Maybe it goes if you get a 17 month lease, but I'm not going to give it to the deadbeats in the building. Yeah. Now, how do I get this guy that can sell this to anybody? He knows it's going to be bought. How do I get him to sell it to me? He's got to like you. That's what it comes Maybe. To. First, he's got to know me. Yeah. Second, he's got to, he's got to trust that I'll close. Yeah. So the certainty, if I can raise his certainty about my ability to close. Yeah. Right? The third thing that has to happen is me buying the deal from him has to make him look better. Right. Than if he sells it to Blackstone. He needs to be a hero. Right? So yeah. then I, as the guy in the deal, I need to ask him, there's a whole list of hard questions that we teach our guys to do. Hard question is, one, in this case, is why would you sell to me rather than them? Yeah. It's basically finding out their motivation. Yeah. Yeah. You persuade around what, people are motivated and, different ways. And if I can get him to communicate, particularly around the hard stuff. Yeah. Like the real hard questions. What do you think? What's your gut feeling? Why would, why would because, he sell to you? Because I think he makes more news selling to me than he does to Blackstone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and who knows, maybe he's got a grudge against some of the big boys. I, I don't know, but I don't know that yet, but I know that I've asked him the hard questions. Yeah. Can you even sell to me? Because here's the reality of the situation. Is he in a position to sell to a little guy and offend one of the big guys? Because right. his livelihood is dependent upon these big players that are worth, their, their, their money's uncountable. Yeah. Compared to mine. My money, they would throw this little thing. They'd be like, get rid of that. Right. It doesn't mean anything to them. It's not, it's not even on their balance sheet, right? So they can squash me. So I have to be willing to ask those hard questions, which most salespeople, you heard the people here, didn't answer the phone. When they do, they don't, they don't answer my questions. The third guy didn't take a message, wanted me to call back. Like, that's going to happen, right? Um and so how do I stay in that deal? And then what if I lose this deal? What if I don't get it? How do I keep that relationship going? Which most people, you know, they, they get, they get a little, a little hurt. Yeah. So this is all going to be in the training. Dude, what, we, what, what happened today? This man? is the Grant Cardone why do I, challenge. He's challenged. He says he's a hundred percent sure no, he's no. going to take my sales in May from a hundred grand phone sales to a million Done. a week. Done. A oh, day. Oh, you know. And, 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 it, and he said, if not, this G550 that was on the way will be delivered, not to his house. Dude, based on what I just did in here, if I just got your people doing that every day, I know your sales are going up. Do I miss the 10X? I you. Maybe I do. You're not going to be pissed off at me. You're no. going to be like, we went from 100 to 200. Yeah. If I can do that in the first week, you're going to be like, like anybody, you're going to be like, dude, those results were freaking unbelievable and I didn't spend any money. Well, let's try I, for 10x. Dude, I always try. <laughs> is this more consistent with your... I always try for 10x. What is you, this going to be you know the 10x the biggest, jet? 
Yes, 10X Beast. That's, that's the name. The 10X Beast, I like that. Let me that. tell you what's going to be on it, okay? It uh, be, he said he's going to put my face on the I'm going to put a big 10X right here because there's a tail cam right here. Okay. So, I can, there's three cameras on the plane. So, when I flip onto this camera, you'll see a big 10X on the top of the thing. I'll put 10X down here. So, okay. when I fly over your house... He's gonna say, you'll you're going to buzz? He's going to buzz. And then a little penis pops out right here. <laughs> and then I'm going to put Ty Lopez's... I like right that here, on the inside. On the, on the little flip there. And when he doesn't like me, a little shade's oh, going to come up. I always up. like you, dude. I always like Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, All you. Right, appreciate everything you're doing. Okay. Appreciate your audience. Yeah. I'm send excited. your boys back tomorrow from yeah, Memphis. Yeah, I'm tomorrow. And, we'll and uh, we'll I'm going to send you some deals on, on the real estate stuff. Add Ryan at Cardone Capital and put me, okay. Grant, at Cardone Capital. For Insta. Because that's the way I know where the real estate deal is going. Oh, oh you're talking about... Uh, for your deals. For email. See, but the other thing all is, things, hey, Ty, I, I get deals that I won't do every day. Okay. I showed you that. Send deal. me some of the ones you don't want. Yeah. I get Every day I get deals I won't do. I won't yeah. do a deal in California right now. So, what? You just don't like California. Is that the reason? No, I just... I mean, I looked at... I, I look at two... If they were big enough, I would look at them. Just too small? But, but... Yeah. What city are they? Water problems, spec regulation problems. Yeah. I owned 500 units. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, I just don't think your return there is going to be. Yeah. Look, we look. look you like the Midwest? The Midwest. I saw a portfolio of 20, 2,200 or 20, 2,600. 2,600 yeah. units in the Midwest yesterday. Yeah. What do you think about Toronto? I, I wouldn't touch it. It's hot. Yeah. There's, no, there's not enough. Quantity, uh, uh, there's not enough yeah. ways to exit. Yeah. You just, there's not enough product. This is the apartment capital of the world. Yeah. Chinese have never seen this. South America doesn't have this. Like, this is the only place in the world where big apartment buildings are built. Like so, it. Texas. Texas? Right. Colorado, you like? It's, it's, it's overpriced right now. You're just a little late to the party. <laughs> so, where's the, where are the deals? You look at 100 to? deals, too. Yeah. You gotta look at 100 deals to buy one deal. Yeah. It's kind of like you people. better, you better, yeah, totally. You gotta find a hundred people. You gotta find a hundred potential people to find one good person. Hey, hey he did. Will that plane go from LA to uh, Sydney? It's uh, tight. I've seen the because I tried to charter one. Oh, really? They're like, if you hit any turbulence, you gotta stop in like New Zealand or whatever. Uh, Global Express. Yeah, Australia is about the farthest it, stretch. And, and winds are a big factor too. Yeah, it was, so when we just went, I just went, I went with Arnold Schwarzenegger, 16 hours. Really? So that's not going to yeah, go 16. So, so that, that goes we hit, yeah, that's you, you hit the wind on the way back, it's faster. Yeah. You, you don't want to go 16 hours in that airplane anyway. Yeah. yeah. Like you have that's one fine. person with one bag. How was that deal? That's right. How did you like that? That was cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it, they're doing a good challenge. I've gotten a little bit. Yeah. But that's the kind of people if we can get some get on this real estate fund, can bring in some big money people. Not necessarily. You, you, disrupt, you disrupt the way people. Well, yeah. what you should do is you should invest in the fund. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So or a deal. deal. I want to do a deal. Let's, Let's do, do it. Why don't you do these last two deals? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or what about some of these fund? deals you don't want to do? They're too small for you. Do you no, but you should you should invest with you so we yeah. can tell people we're uh -huh. we're partners. Okay. Money's not going to go away. Yeah. How's the money going? When's your reg A going to be done? Three months? Three months. What, you need to be in the reg A? No, no, not for me. I just want to know how long it's going to take you. Yeah, it's, they, you started three months ago? No, no, we were just starting now. I'm going to do a question. reg A. I want to put 10 grand. I'm going to put 10 grand with him. We don't know. We don't know. Who is Ty Lopez? Who are these people? <laughs> Sounds like, who is, where is Waldo? Who is Ty Lopez? <laughs> okay, well, good. All right, man. All right, man. Well, we'll be in touch. I'm gonna send some people back tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta leave. I'm going to Berkshire Hathaway thing. So. Yeah, good for you. You don't ever go to Berkshire Hathaway? Mm -hmm. No. You should. Though. You should. No, I don't. Money, money there, there, man. I'm trying to make money, man. There's money there. I gotta pay the rent this month. There's yeah. mega. So I sat next to a guy the first time I ever went. This guy's got 500 million of his own money sitting up at the top with me. Wow. Yeah. Like the richest guy in Europe, one of the richest guys in Europe. These guys are six million. Everybody makes money different ways, folks. Just remember that. He's going off to Berkshire. I'll be back here tomorrow at GC's place. Pounding. That's right. Headlocking. Twisting. I'll be doing what I got to do right now to keep my game sick. While Ty Lopez does whatever he does. Just remember that. <laughs>